Hi, my name is Jacob Reagan, and for this video, I will be doing a flower dissection of a um, Chinese hibiscus flower. Right here, we have the um, flower itself. It is composed of petals, which are around the outside, which help with um, pollination of the plant. Right here, this portion, which kind of look like leaves, this is called the sepal, which protects the flower buds. And then right here is the stem, and this transfers nutrients such as water up to the rest of the flower. So for this first part of the dissection, I will remove the uh, sepal and the petals so we can get a closer look of the male and female reproductive organs. So to start out, I will peel off the uh, sepal portion. And then I will begin to remove the petals. So here's a closer look at one single petal. And then um, this is the sepal that I removed and that protects the flower bud. So here now we have a closer look at the uh, reproductive structures. I'll show you with these tweezers. So these little um, areas around the outside that are sticking up this is the uh, stamen which is the male reproductive part I will pull off one right now and show the camera here um, so this is composed of two different portions there's the stem like feature right here which is called the filament and then the tip which is the anther which has the uh, pollen and uh, sperm on it to fertilize the ovules inside all right here I'll remove the um, stamen so we get a closer look at the female reproductive organs. Here's a look at a few stamen together. So right here, this is most of the uh, female reproductive structure right here at the tip. This is known as the um, stigma. And this receptive tip actually traps the pollen inside to bring it to the ovaries. Here, I'll get a closer look. Right here is the stigma. All right, and then this long portion between the stigma and the ovule is known as the style and I will cut it open and then inside we can look at the pollen tube where the pollen is actually transported from the stigma into the ovary this base portion is the ovary and when I cut it open we'll also be able to see the ovules inside So we're just gonna cut a layer down this female reproductive structure. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of hard to show with the camera, but here I'll get it in focus. So right here is a pollen tube that runs through, I pulled off part of it. So right here is the pollen tube that fits right inside here. And this transports the pollen down to the ovary, which is located right here. Now, if you get a closer look, here I'll zoom in. If we get a closer look at this ovary, you can actually see the, ovule, uh, the ovules right here. So along right here, these are ovules, which are um, fertilized by the sperm to make seeds. So the ovary contains all the ovules and the sperm goes down the pollen tube into the ovary, fertilizes the ovules, which later become seeds. And uh, yeah, that covers everything as far as the um, 
flower goes with all the reproductive structures 